Hi everyone, sorry I've been away for the camera for away from the camera for a while. Uh, after our local police death, I wasn't depressed. I just did not feel like making videos. Did not feel but like being behind the camera. It had no appeal to me. Uh, and then Sweet Corn season started, and I was busy with the picking, the shucking, the eating. But now I have a little more time on my hands. And in this video, I want to talk about pornography. Pornography is one of the biggest problems in society. It is nearly ubiquitous. For those of you who don't know, ubiquitous means everywhere. Um, uh, longer ago, you had sketches of naked women. You had the Red Light District, which was actual prostitution. You had art galleries. In when my parents were young, that moved up to Playboy magazines and Sports Illustrated magazines. Pornography really is just an extension of prostitution. Even right here on this platform, YouTube, you can find very, very explicitly pornograph pornographic content. Now, those videos are limited to those that are age verified, basically, in order to view them, you have to have an account with Google, and Google has to know the age of the, the account holder in order to access that content. Um, now, younger conservatives like myself, or more, that are more in my age bracket at least, believe that pornography should be outlawed. And older, more squishy, hippy-dippy 1960s Republicans believe that, oh no, we can't regulate pornography, that's free speech! Ah, we're regulating the First Amendment! Well, no, no. By limiting, by limiting pornography, you're not, you know, cracking down, you're not limiting the First Amendment in any way. In order for something to be speech, you have to be putting forth an idea. There is no ideas being put forth in a pornographic video. I, as far as outlawing pornography, I am with the uh, great saint, lawyer, Doctor of the Church, if you're Catholic, like my, like I am, Saint Sir Thomas More. Now, heavily paraphrasing here, Saint Sir Thomas More said of prostitution that the idea of trying to outlaw prostitution is sure you can make it illegal, but to to actually make it to actually try to have a um, abolition. On prostitution, you're, you're fighting an endless war because there will always be dark alleys and inner rooms where women can sell themselves to the men that are interested in that sort of thing. The best we can do is sanction it off from polite society and limit those who access it to those who are of adult age. And of course we see that with strip clubs. You have to provide an ID uh, when you to the guard when you enter. Yet online pornography has been a bit horror. One, you know, even on YouTube, yes, you have to be an account holder with Google, and Google has to know your age. But that doesn't really stop anything. I mean, I hand my kid my phone, and he goes from watching completely harmless content on YouTube to deciding to type boobs into the uh, search line and then watching God knows what. And Pornhub is 
is even worse. I mean, they are, no, I've never been on the site, but as I understand it, the only thing you have to do to verify your age, quote unquote, is, cl is click a button on the screen that says, yes, I'm 18 plus. No other, verific no other age verific verification is required. You don't have to enter your age, nothing. I think, as much as I don't like it that Pornhub exists, I think Pornhub actually does need to exist. In the sense that, just like with prostitution, it's going to exist somewhere. And the best we can do, I think, is to sanction it off from the rest of place. Sorry, don't ha We need YouTube. I'm calling you out, YouTube. You need to delete every single 18 plus video on your platform that is rated that way because of pornographic content. All right, get rid of it. Send it over to Pornhub. Well, well, that's the entire brand of the site. Because there are plenty of people who are going there, plenty of kids who are going there for completely harmless content, and then because of what they've been exposed to in the rest of the world, they're, oh, let's see if I can find something porno pornographic on YouTube, a site or app that I already use. Oh, what do you know? It's here. And then if their parent has a free Google account so that they can comment, subscribe, and such, um, you know, they have access to it. Or may have access to it if the parent has uh, their age in that profile. As far as Pornhub goes, they need to be much more restrictive in who accesses their site. Just a button that says, yes, I'm 18 plus, that doesn't stop anybody. No, no one, no one. Really, Pornhub knows 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds, even younger, are accessing their site, and they don't care. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care what child, what 10-year-old, 8-year-old child they destroy. The best that I, they could start by having age verification, you know, make the, make the kid... Type in an age, of course, they're just going to use their parents' age. Better yet, now, I don't know if I want to actually give my, give a picture of my driver's license to a bunch of people who run a porn site that actually sounds like a great way to get your identity stolen, but you may, it may be a case of, yeah, you're going to have to be like a, a digital strip club. You know, you have to upload a picture of your ID. So that I have some actual verification of who this person is. And I honestly think, and anyway, any person out there who's tried accessing pornography will probably agree with this. When it, Typing in their parents' age, yeah, sure, a kid will do that. But when it comes to, oh, I have to go get my parents' driver's license, bring it back to my computer, phone, tablet, take a picture of it, hit upload. That's a lot more steps than I think a kid is willing to go through with, in my opinion. Now, there's, there's probably going to be kids who are desperate enough to, yeah, 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 I, I, I want, I'll do anything, I just want my fix. <clears throat> but I think it'll thin out the crowd at least. This brings us to another topic. So a while back, uh, Turning Point USA, TPUSA, which actually, when you say the abbreviation, it sounds, well, kind of funny, particularly after March of 2020 and the panic buying. But Turning Point USA held a teen conference and one of the attendees was a woman named Tracy Livermore. Now you're probably wondering, who's Tracy Livermore? Well, she's also known as Brandy Love. 
Now you may also be wondering, who's Brandy Love? Brandy Love, Tracy Livermore, we're going to go with Livermore, is a 48-year-old hardcore porn star. Now she's a quote-unquote conservative porn star. She says she voted for Trump in 2016 and 2020. And she went online and purchased a VIP pass to the Turning Point USA Teen Conference. Mind you, this is a teen conference. She's a 48-year-old woman. Right, probably on the, edge of a, on the edge of her career. And at a certain point, gravity starts to take over and the, col and the collagen is gone. And there's newer, younger women coming up in that industry, if you must that will push her aside. Anyway, she had this VIP pass and she walked around like she was invited by Turning Point USA. And people who worked for Turning Point USA were like, who in the heck is this woman? Walking around with a VIP pass that says Brandy Love on it. it yes, it had, a porn, it had a porn name on the VIP pass. And eventually they figured out who the who Brandy Love was, who Tracy Livermore was, and they told her, we know who you are, you're not welcome here, get out. And I, and I believe that's what they should have done. You're a hardcore porn star coming to a, ton, coming to a conference meant for teens, minors. By the way, there was also pictures of her uh, genitals and various other locations posted on her social networks, social network pages, uh, while she was at the conference. And, uh, the, the husband of Megan McCain said, Oh, having Brandy Love, uh, kicked out of, of the Turning Point USA conference is terrible! Oh, you know, Everyone's welcome in the Republican Party. We need to be a big tent party. A big tent party. Not a big ten party. A big tent party. Honestly, no. No. If being a big tent party means welcoming porn stars to, con to conservative conferences meant for minors, no. We are the pro-family party. I believe. You know, the Democrats are like, oh, put off children and emphasize on your career and then wait till right before menopause and start having children, women. No, no, I'm, I believe at least the, the core, the, the, maybe not the politicians, but at least the, the voting populace of the of the Republican Party but would believe that, you know, pardon, pardon again, um, would believe that, no, you know, if you want to have a family, get married when you're 25, 26, 24, and start having kids, women, mothers. So if being a big tent party means, oh, everyone is welcome here, well, even, even those guilty of destroying families because husbands look at Brandy Love's body and are basically having digital affairs on their wives, we don't want that. And... We should absolutely kick out people who do not forward our values, who do not believe in our values. In order to have a party, we have to believe in something. If we just say, oh, everyone who likes lower taxes is welcome in the Republican Party, we don't have a party. Eventually the tent is so big that it, it, there's no boundaries, just everyone is in the same tent. 
Oh, you're pro abortion and you want to call yourself a Republican? Sure! Absolutely. Absolutely, Brandy, uh, St Brandy loves Tracy Livermore, whatever you want to call her. Should have been kicked out of the TPUSA conference. Because she doesn't forward our values. She doesn't believe in really any of the ideas, any of the ideas that really mean something that are in the, that make up this party. The, pro the problem is, though, I think, is that the Republican Party is a little bit of a... It's not a very deep party. The only thing we have pushing is, oh, lower tax rates, when, you know, I think it'd be much better to to put forth our actual ideology, pro-family, pro-marriage, pro pro-life, anti-porn, all of that. Or at least anti-porn in the sense that it shouldn't be on sites that are used by millions of kids every day. Thank you all for watching. Comment, subscribe, like. You know the whole spiel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you, hopefully, sometime in the near future. Bye.